Hey guys, so I just wanted to let you know before this video starts that we donated so much money to St. Jude's last year that we got a certificate of appreciation. I think we donated a few thousand dollars. The reason I say we is because I don't have this money if it's not for you guys. So I wanted to thank you guys for that. Yeah, we got a certificate of appreciation from St. Jude. That's amazing. So I want to say for the next 30 days from today, today's the 25th of February. So from the 25th of February to the 25th of March, 10% of all profit from thefanaticbrand.com will go straight to St. Jude's. So I want to thank you guys. Go there, get some merchandise. Hopefully we raise a few thousand dollars, get it donated to them. So I want to thank you guys and uh, enjoy today's video. But uh, no, I don't know if anybody saw this. It looks weird on the camera, but no, they legit made glow beta fish. Look at that. That's so weird. A lot of you guys have been uh, breeding guppies since we did the guppy breeding videos. Chris started that, and then there's this whole trend of people who have nothing to do with fish who have been breeding guppies because apparently it's fun to make babies. Why, yes, it is. <laughs> were you just waiting for a comment? Like <laughs> yeah. you were, we're gonna do it. We're gonna buy the fish. We're gonna buy the bed. We're gonna buy filter and everything. You guys need to do this. Okay, let's get these fish. Two males and then the other six females. Oh wow! Yeah, they're just. Look at that. I mean, that's like a white one, but I mean, Dude, I've never seen that before. Look at that. He's got like white eyes. Well, what other colors are I supposed to be? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> just pick random ones. Really nice guppy. Like cookable guppy. Like. Oh, yeah. right oh wow. Where did the? Other I don't know why we find this so interesting. Like looking well, at the I color. Can tell you, like this one up here, this little spotted one up here is like super rare. And. Throw that thing on the grill. Like the yellow one that's right there. Uh -huh. like this one that's coming right here. Yeah, I like that this one. This one right here. I like that cool. one. Yeah. And this pink one right here is really cool. Fish nuggets. Like we should take all of these guppies home right here. Oh man, she's got everything. So really? Another lady's coming in, and she's gonna bring us her blue lobster babies. I guarantee you, everybody on here would love to see 40 little baby lobsters. Okay, so she's. I mean, it literally looks like a wig. Look at it. Look. Oh, you guys, we got an electric catfish. No, you did. It hurts so bad. You can, you'll let me touch your electric catfish. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so weird. Dirty. Like, did you have to say it's so weird? It's so awkward, Brent. I have to. Imagine that. Imagine if you could be shocked by a catfish. So what do you think of the whole glow beta fish thing? I don't. Okay. Know. All right. Well, at least you're on the same page as me. All right. I think I'm, uh, would you guys like to see me get electrocuted by a catfish? <laughs> Because I would. We'll get electrocuted by a cat. <laughs> Let's go do the rest of this DIY guppy tank build. All right, and then. Some air hose. Air hosing. That's it, right? Now I don't think you need now, anything else. Yeah, right? now, we, now we actually just need a tub. Uh, oh my. Either that or nah. now. This is, yeah, this is good enough. You think it's actually, fine? no, I think it's perfect. That. We have a gu we have gup eye. We have gup eye. And now we'll yeah. set this thing up. What? Okay, all right, we got everything in the back. We got the guppies down here. Oh, Guppie. 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 Sorry. See you guys at home. Okay, so this was an extra thing that we have. This is one of these six bucks. This is the filter, the, the situation. So we're gonna need this. We're gonna need, obviously, our bucket down here. And grab that. First things first, fill this thing up with sand. Play a hand, pick a hand. Both. Both? You can't, like, you can't, how are you gonna pick both? No, there's the other one. Uh, but, all right. Are you holding it with your butt? Right here. How did you do that? We're holding it with your butt. I, I mean, it is a shelf back there. So oh my goodness. I bought this for something, and that may be enough. Oh, wow. Okay, well that worked. Yeah. So yeah, now, now we just gotta fill it up with water. Yeah, so let me, uh, I'll go get you some water. Yeah, thanks, thanks, yeah, all right. Turbo start, basically this is beneficial bacteria. It's instant, it's supposed to be instant, you're not supposed to wait. You gotta put this stuff in there, that way you can instantly add fish. I said instant a lot. But before you add this, you also have to add Fritz Complete, which was actually added to the water before we poured it in there. Dechlorination. And if you don't dechlorinate before you put in this, the chlorine will kill this bacteria. Science, do, 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 do. Hey. Wow, that is all we needed. Look at that. Okay. All right, so this thing, this is what we need. Yeah, what do you do with that? Well, it basically ignites a large amount of gasoline in the water. Oh, so it's basically that. a self-contained cooker. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Do, do you want to like so touch that? I asked Chris to find a creative way to uh, cut this lid, so we're gonna use a, a melter, and yeah. This is actually a stencil cutter. Um, also known as a melter. Yeah, we'll let it get hot. Three days later. Okay, so. Is it warm? 
it's definitely warm and we all know how Brenton is with power tools. This is um, a stencil cutter and it gets really hot. It's like a few hundred degrees. So if you were to touch yourself with this, you would be in a lot of pain and you would cry. Okay, so we're gonna cut a food hole first. So we're gonna do that in the front. Okay. And then you're gonna cut a hole in the back to run just the aerator. Okay, right there, okay, right? yeah, yeah. So we'll start right here and we're just gonna outline. Wow. Uh, just a square. That's beautiful. So was this creative enough for you on how to cut? No. Wow. Wow, it actually goes through. She's smoking. Right? <laughs> like, the fact that we're doing this is so extra. That's what I said. Like, we could have easily done this with like a pocket knife. But no, Brenton had to be extra. I think that one's better than that one. All right, thanks, Max. Good, Good job, Brenton. Look Thank at that. you. Move over the board a little bit. Now we've got our two holes, thanks to Chris. And uh, <laughs> which <laughs> a box cutter, or a pocket knife, anything would have worked so much better. You don't have to follow this route. No, this definitely is, don't follow this, this route. This is the route we decided to go. All right, that's, that's all we needed. Okay, so I'm gonna unplug this. We're gonna get this, run it over here, plug that into there. Which this is gonna sit on top of the lid. This right here, wow, that is annoying. This right here needs to soak down, squish all the bubbles out of this thing, and that's gonna sit right there. So that's the filter for the tank. That's what holds that beneficial bacteria, and it's what makes bubbles so the fish live. These have been acclimating for a while now, but now I think it's time to get these in. So we've got two males, and then we've got six females, and we've got a few more we gotta put in here that we have, like, actually with us right now. Okay, so they're in the bags now, but... Okay, and they're are some guppies. Now we need to get a few more in here, but before we do that, get some live plants like so. So the babies are literally just gonna hide up no, in let, this let's stuff. Get oh, we'll get the snail out. Yeah. So yeah. Come here, you little son of a- So basically the babies are going to come in here. We're gonna get a lot more live plants tomorrow because they're gonna need them, but this is how you make baby guppies. And if you guys haven't seen enough baby guppy memes, this is uh, what it looks like when they get, you know, burst. And this is what it looks like when their parents eat them. That's why you need the grass, so they can hide from their parents, because they're cannibals. <laughs> they are cannibals. We threw one more piece in here, and then, uh, yeah, those are the guppies. Let's get this thing on. Let me provide you some hands through your beautifully cut hole. And now we got a tank full of guppies ready to breed. You can feed them through here. I think we might cut another little hole slot here soon so they get some light. These plants will even grow. I kid you not, you may not believe me, but they grow just fine without light. We've never really had to grow them with light, but there's always gonna be light in here because this room is always on. There's just no light actually blinding the little fish. So that right there is a uh, full on guppy breeding tank and that's how you do it yourself. For around, I'd say like 40 bucks. Okay, so this behind me, I can't show any more of that because that's basically what Chris is doing for an insane cage for an animal, but it is so sick. Tomorrow. All right, folks, hopefully the guppies are still alive. It's the next day, I don't know if you can tell. We gotta move this. All right, here we go. Hope all is well, kids. So the animals are out. I wanted to remind y'all yet again that 10% of profit from today, February 25th to March 25th is going to St. Jude's at thefanaticbrand.com. 10% of all of that profit is going to St. Jude's, so hopefully we can raise a few thousand dollars, but let's check on the animals. Highly recommend one of you guys get this. It's the greatest investment of all time. I love the four-wheeler. What's up, buddy? What's going on? So Pickle, oh, look at him wagging his tail. He's so happy. What's up, buddy? She is doing so much better. Like, she is doing so good. Steven is always doing good, but she is doing absolutely fantastic. Like, I can come up to her now and start petting her without her getting scared, but she's just really pretty. I think she's the cutest goat for sure. Hey, sweetie. Yeah, I, I love that little girl. The ducks are doing good too. The Swedish and then the, the Pekin duck in there. What's up, guys? You can come on out. I think they're, I think they're scared of the four-wheeler okay so in here all the new stuff is doing good if you guys did not watch the video where we got this big guy i love this because i used to fish for fish like these i still do fishing is like the main reason i started this channel and this is like a trophy fish like to catch so it's super dope owning one and then everybody else is everybody else is good got that tank turned off our beta you and then the goldfish tank go ahead hit the like button if you want to see the next video on breeding that you know the little thumbs up just click that thing do that like asap well there ladies and gentlemen i wanted to say thank you hopefully y'all went on to enjoy today's video don't forget about donating to saint jude but i want to say the support everything means the absolute world to me if you guys haven't joined the channel yet click the subscribe button down below click the like button follow me on instagram at fanatic.media follow the goats follow the fanatic farm instagram follow all of those are all linked in the description below comment your favorite video 
video of mine. And with that being said, I will catch you next time on that next episode of Fanatic. Peace.